What's up, everybody? <clears throat> hmm. What's up, everybody? Itsy Boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I had a jalapeno bagel, and for lunch, I had the rest of the couscous, and that was it. Oh, and for dinner, we had beans and pork, and it was still really salty. Last time, it was really insanely crazy salty because uh, we used normal sodium instead of low, um, low, so, no. We use regular stock instead of low sodium stock. Um, and this time we just used water instead of low sodium stock and it was still really, really crazy salty. So, um, we're gonna be, so, um, I don't know, we might not use pork. Uh, we had pork and beans, but uh, we might have sausage or something, we'll see. Uh, I got paid today in my Fidelity, because Fidelity pays your paycheck a day early, so I'm happy about that. I woke up at six. Um, I guess I woke up exactly 12 hours ago, which is funny. Um, and I walked on the treadmill for seven miles. Um, I burned 1,181 calories. I walked from 621 to 840, um, and my repertory was 128. I don't know, it was good. Um, I'm thinking about, uh, I'm thinking about maybe, uh, Um, I think I'm maybe waking up an hour early tomorrow so then I can uh, be done with exercising an hour earlier, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just hanging out. Uh, uh, yeah, so I got done with my work. I had my couscous and then um, I sort of just did NAS server stuff all day. Um, I'm working on my NAS server. Um, I pretty much, I, I've moved all of my recordings over, except for this one now. Um, I also, um, let's see if I can show this. I can't, okay. Uh, check it out, here's Obsidian, and I found out there's this button, there's this plugin I installed that installs a button that lets you change from light theme to dark theme really easily, and uh, sometimes my main work is dark, and so I like having obsidian be dark, uh, but sometimes my main work is light, and so I'm like, oh, well, for it to match and for me to not have to, like, change how my eyes feel, um, I'll just have it on light theme, uh, and it's actually pretty nice. Here's how my graph view looks, um, and I've also moved this to the left because I've had obsidian on my right monitor, uh, so it makes sense to have it on the left, but yeah, here's my graph view. Um, it's pretty cool. My A plus stuff is getting pretty intense. Um, and with lots of stuff is connected to like power supply and like preventing electrostatic discharge and just stuff like that. Um, something kind of bothersome happened today though. Um, while I was working, while I was waiting for like stuff to transfer for my NAS server stuff, I um, did some A plus certification stuff and this week we're gonna have a lot of work and I think we're gonna have that work forever. Like I think that's gonna be the workload. Uh, so that sucks, but you know, what can you do? Um, yeah, so we worked on some, um, yeah, so I worked on some A-plus stuff, and a lot of it was about, like, electrostatic discharge, um, and there was a question, I remember watching a video that it showed us, and I looked back and it said this, where it was like, um, I, you know, honestly, even though this whole thing was about electrostatic discharge, I'm not sure how real, it, like, uh, ESD is, um, because I don't know, I saw that Linus Tech Tips video and that was pretty convincing that uh, ESD isn't really a thing to be worried about. But anyway, um, you know, I, I guess it's good to assume it's real. Uh, I, of course it's a real thing, but it's not, I don't know, it doesn't seem like that much of an issue. But also, um, I don't know, I, I really don't know much about it, I just, you know. Um, anyway, so, um, once I can put lotion on. Sorry, my hands were itchy and I had to put lotion on my hands. Um, yeah, so there was a thing where it said, you know, um, your static, um, your static charge has to be 3000 volts for you to feel anything. Uh, but, um, components can experience ESD at around a hundred volts. And so you could be doing ESD on stuff without even realizing it. So that's why you should always have an ESD with wrist strap on, you know, um, that was sort of the thesis. And then on the test to ask me, you know, what's the lowest, um, what's the lowest voltage that a component 
uh, can experience ESD. And I said, oh, 100, because that's what the video said. Um, and it was like, no, it's 10. So I messaged the professor about that, because I don't know. Um, it, it, it was just so strange. It was such a strange, different, like, I don't, like, off by a factor of 10? Like, that's crazy. I don't know. I, it's, the video says 100. I, I was just very confused. So I, I messaged the professor. Maybe I could totally be in the wrong, but it was just very strange. Uh, yeah, then I installed Ubuntu on a VM, and I did my little thing for my Linux class. Um, super easy, uh, you know, uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it. All right, see you, dude.